Jesus speaks about the financial collapse of the U.S. government. August 25, 2015 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, Lord, I sense this heavy grief in your heart. You're wearing black, a black tuxedo, and I'm wearing a black satin, evening gown, with a gilded pink rose at the waistline. You've asked me to pray for my children and told me they are being sent back to me. What is all this about? Also, I see your eyes streaming tears of sorrow. Jesus answered, This is about the fall of your great nation through her economy. There will be dire results, homelessness and hunger, death from lack of medication, though the living will in some cases be jealous of the dead, riots, disorder, fighting in the streets, even your streets, as people seek sources of food. This is a very dark time we are entering upon. You have no need to worry. I will protect this property, this house. All that concerns you shall be protected. There shall be desperate repercussions for many, though. And of course, right off the bat, what do I do? Start worrying. Didn't I tell you not to worry? I know, Lord, but I was thinking of the electricity. I was thinking about maybe looking into a wind generator or something like that. Ezekiel went to the Lord for me and we got a thumbs down. Don't worry about anything, I have you completely covered. Okay, so what is tonight's message? You know everyone is going to run to cover themselves before this crash comes. Commerce is going to go on. E-commerce is going to go on. It is those dependent on government subsidies that are going to be hurting. Offices will close and no checks will be forthcoming. That is what is going to create the biggest disturbance. That is why I have told you not to have anything to do with the government and its subsidies. And for the reason that you are my servant and as such I pay your wage. Don't worry, I am going to cover you. Some of those who have looked down upon you in scorn and contempt are going to be coming to you for help. It is my justice that the playing field should be leveled. Lord, this message is going to cause an uproar of fear. It is better to be prepared than to be taken by surprise. So, how are your people, who are reliant on social security, going to fare? Hardly, but I will not leave them helpless. Are they not of more worth to me than the sparrows whom I feed every day? I have my people, Claire, my people who have been set up to help others, and where there is no help, I am to take up the difference. Does this scare you? No, Lord. Good, it shouldn't scare you or anyone else. I am faithful. I will do what is necessary for my flocks. Many who have relied solely on me in the past have suffered terrible ridicule and I stood by silently, watching. It is time for the haughty to be humbled. It is time for them to see 
that those who put their trust in me will be provided for and providing for them. How degrading this attitude has been in the past. This is one attitude of my bride that I will have cleansed from her. There will be much circumspection, re-evaluation of goals and past behaviors when they looked upon others as incompetent or sinful and lazy. Thus I will humble my bride and call her into account for those times she failed to show mercy and leniency. Oh, how I love her! Yet certain things are repugnant to me, and selfishness is one of them. O oh Lord, I know I've been selfish too. Thank you for helping me have a heart for those truly in need. It is so important to me that my ambassadors and brides reflect my mercy and provision to those who are in a weakened and tenuous situation. That is why I provide extra for many of my servants. I know they will use it on others, not on themselves. I count on that, Claire. I count on the mercy of those I give in abundance to. Not much longer now, my bride, and you will be with me. But in the meantime, reflect me to others. Be merciful, non-judgmental and liberal, especially with the poor. I'm calling on some of you now to be prepared for what is to come and share what you have with others. I will never fail to provide for you. The more you share, the more I shall give you. I love you dearly. Walk in my ways and my counsel. 